It's Nicholas back in the house, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Now, I don't normally do product reviews because it can be quite complicated with the contracts you have to sign, etc., etc. Then there's the hassle of if they want to pay you or if you've got to be sponsored. And sometimes it's a bit too much of a hassle. For me, especially if you've got an ordinary job, you know what I mean? Okay. But a company reached out to me about ooh, a month ago now, Juno Computers from the UK, and said, would I look at their 14-inch notebook called the Jupiter? And I thought, ooh, that looks interesting. I'll give it a go. So before we even start, this was a loan machine, which is actually going back tomorrow. <clears throat> I've not been paid for this, and I'm not going to be paid even, because I just like the look of it. And I think you might too. Let's go. Dozo. This is the Jupyter Notebook from Juno Computers in the UK. It comes with an 8th gen Intel processor. This is an i5, which is Whiskey Lake. All aluminium chassis. It's only 17.8mm thick and weighs in at 1.4 kilos. USB 3, USB C with a card reader, HDMI, and a 1 megapixel camera. Also has an IPS display at full 1080p display. Super. The keyboard's super light, easy to type on, and is also backlit. So if you are in the market for a new netbook or notebook, go and check Juno Computers out at www.junocomputers.com. Let's get on and see what we can. Super. Okay, guys, running on the Jupyter Notebook is Elementary OS or Ubuntu 18.04, okay? But I've kept to element Elementary OS here for a simple reason. It's got several tweaks, especially for this notebook, okay? Several. Not just the one, but several. I'll quickly run through it with you, but not too much. For a simple reason, you already know what Elementary OS looks like. So if we go to Applications. I've actually installed quite a lot of stuff here. It's had a lot of testing, an awful lot of testing. Okay. Battery life, I got to six hours, okay? Six hours playing full screen videos. And then it died, okay? I didn't expect it to get to four, to be honest with you. Uh, other tasks, was a bit more battery intensive. So the average uh, one would be around about four to five hours, I would say, in general. But if you're only using it for typing on the train or somewhere else, you could, in theory, get seven hours. But hey, that's quite good. Bearing in mind it only weighs 1.4 kilos, and it's only 17.8 millimeters thick. So it's a tiny, tiny little device. And it's all aluminium chassis, don't forget that. Okay, so under our applications here we have Audacity, of course, because I'm doing audio while I'm recording this for you, so you can see. If I go to the center of the menu, you can see I've got Gimpage here. I've added Chrome and Firefox, because I don't like Epiphany as the standard browser, but that is just my choice, okay? Now the reason they're using elementary OS is this little tool here called Kronos, okay? So if I click here, and it comes up. As you can see, it's really, really sprightly. There's a lot of apps here that are like pre-listed for you that are re re recommended to install. So if I scroll down, right the way down the bottom, you can sort of WhatsApp, the desktop thing here. Yak Yak, that's Google Hangouts, isn't it? Okay. Visual Studio Code. They're all in this little device here. Now if I go to Utilities, you get other stuff here called Albert, Caffeine. Catfish I've installed, so that's super duper. Flash Player is here as well. KDE Connect, so you can sync your Android phone to your computer. Which well, could be rather handy at any time, couldn't it? So, we'll just use it here for you, so you can see how it works. So, Albert, okay. We'll install Albert. It wants your password, so we'll put that in. And here you can see how fast it is. Remember, it runs an M.2 drive. There is no moving parts apart from the fan for the CPU in this machine, okay? It's totally silent. There is no whizzing or anything whatsoever. So it whizzes around. I said it was really quick. Obviously it is installing and I'm recording it at the same time. So don't worry about that too much. Ding. Task completed. Super. So this is a super little app, really, to get all the stuff you really need to get going. Okay, also, if I go to battery here, it's at 93%. There's a little uh, <clears throat> bit of code in here that doesn't let it charge above 93 or 94% and doesn't let it go below 15 to 20%, basically to make the battery last longer. And as it's, you can see here, it's using simple screen recorder a lot, but that's why I've got it plugged in. So that's super. Mm. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to applications again, before we finish the video, okay? We go to system profiler and benchmark. Now I'll make it full screen for you so you can see. We'll go to our summary. As you can see, we're in an Intel Core i5, 
8250U, which is the power saving one. This is four cores and eight threads. This particular machine comes with, guess what? 16 gig of RAM. You can have 32 if you so wish to do so, but obviously that bumps the price up. If we scroll down a bit more, I'm gonna go to Blowfish, and it will do some stuff there for us. There you go, 551. We wait, lower is better, and our computer should be all the way down the bottom, so it's really, really power efficient. I've run most of these tests, it's super. Uh, I left it running for three days without turning it off. Yeah, it just coped, no problem whatsoever. So if you're in the market for a really, really small 14-inch netbook, really light, easy to carry around, easy to store, this could be the one for you. Now the starting price is around us about £600, so they're not particularly cheap, but you're getting an awful lot of computer for your money. Okay? If you want to go and buy a Chromebook and spend £200, you go and do that. But if you want a real machine, real uh, components that work really well, this is for you. Okay. I like it. Check them out. Go and check out the website. I'll leave the link in the description. No problem. Sneaky Linux out there. I'll see you later. Bye bye.